The Design Innovation Entrepreneurship Program is really an opportunity for students to be out working with industry, um, engaging with professionals and learning about what's going on in the real world. Students came to this program with a range of skills. We utilised all of those skills and built upon them for them to be able to build their own brand. The Design Innovation Program is all about finding our own personal style and our own personal identity and placing that into a real world application. It's about using your design skills and passion to create your own small business, using like the entrepreneurial mindset and capabilities. It's about ways of thinking involved in creating your own small business and having all the steps along the way to get there. So I chose to be in this program because I had a really strong passion in design, specifically graphic design, and thought that I could use those skills to further business branding to create my own small business. I thought this would be a good opportunity to work with industry professionals and see how they have created their own living within the arts. I have a strong passion for art and was looking forward to progressing it into potentially a career and I feel that this would have given me more ideas into where I was heading in the future. In this program we have three main collaborators that students are working with. Our first one is the Jam Factory Contemporary Craft and Design Centre. Our second collaboration is with the New Venture Institute at Flinders Uni. Our third collaborator is Pink Sun Productions. I think it's really important for um, students to have experiences like the workshop that we're doing with the high school students now because it broadens their understanding about what's available and what's accessible to them beyond their secondary schooling. My plan all along has been to uh, help young people unravel their assumptions, to really test their ideas, to think creatively. Working with industry professionals is a great opportunity for us to get our foot in the door and also learn lots of new skills that we wouldn't be able to otherwise. I like especially hearing all their different stories about how they got where they got. They're a lot more experienced than us and I take it as a really great opportunity. So we started off learning about how to register a business name and what's needed to register one and then we went off and started making our own logo and the name. We first had to figure out what our branding was going to be and how that will relate to our target market and how they will be attracted to the brand and also the product. We're currently in the ideation process of our business where we're understanding the customers needs and wants and generating our ideas for our business products. Hannah Thorburn and I have put together a really really accessible and enthusiastic program for the kids who have all been really responsive. So at the moment we're doing a four-day workshop at the Jam Factory where we'll be doing jewellery making in silver specifically like ring making, pendant making and I'm really excited to do this because I feel like this would be a great product that I could use my business. Now we're more experiencing getting to the practical side and experiencing real world industries and then we'll look at product development and what we'll actually be selling. The best thing about doing workshops with young people is to provide them with a greater understanding of the different opportunities that they have uh, rather than just sort of the normal professions that are out there. So this program is really different to normal school subjects because it gives us the opportunity to work with industry professionals and focus more on what our passion and purpose is. It's really good to get to know a teacher and you really have a lot of freedom to do whatever you're interested in. Within school we usually you're in a little classroom, you're doing your research, you're on your laptop sort of thing but here we're going out, we're going to places such as this and we're seeing what it's actually like. We've been able to work together, be pushed outside of our comfort zones and get feedback. Drawing industry and where we can actually develops that connection to real life. It helps students see the purpose behind what they're learning, why they're learning it and how it's relevant to real life.
the purpose of my business was to put a little light into people's lives. I wanted to put those pops of colour to bring that little bit of happiness. My business is kind of a mix of ceramics and jewellery, but I was really going for something that couldn't be produced again. It's about like recycling cardboard and like bringing more awareness to that, even though there already is, is quite a bit of awareness, but you know more awareness. My service is the Bells Box, which is a little gift box of a ceramic pot or mug, a, a pack of stickers, I've got like the little collection up here, and a pair of uh, resin or silver jewellery. I have my charm bracelets here. Um, this is my high price one. Two other charm bracelets there, my array of charms that you can put on the bracelets and take off. My packaging right here, so it feels like a gift. I have my business cards, and this is my style guide explaining my brand. So over here I've got the mugs and cups that I produce from slip casting, and I've got my jewellery which I made at Jam Factory. I've designed a bunch of designs with textures, and then I've uploaded them to Adobe Illustrator and laser cutted these stencils. And then with the stencils, you can create your own products. I think it was uh, really cool how they used all these resources to make these amazing things and they want to sell it and I think that's really cool. I really liked the designs that had an innovative uh, like design and they used different materials that then were recycled. The Design Specialist Program definitely has made me want to be part of it next year because it would be really cool to um, be able to like create things and sell them as a product and stuff. I think that's really cool. I really liked how they like got to choose what they did and use their skills that they had learnt previous years and how they had their own new project. I feel really happy with this display. I like all the little pops of colours that I was able to pull out of my um, logo design up here. And I just, it looks more professional than I thought it was going to be to begin with. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> now that it's all put together, I feel really good and I'm pretty proud of it. I've had a lot of people interested in my clockwork resin jewellery because it's not something that they've seen before and I really liked that. I didn't think that it was going to get that much interest in it. Um, some of my silver jewellery people are also interested in and today I managed to sell one piece which I was really proud of.